Hi all, this is a medium difficulty data insights question, a data sufficiency question, a math question, right? Uh, from the topic statistics and averages. Let's take a look at the question. If m comma s or the average and standard deviation of integers a, b, c and d, is the standard deviation greater than zero is what the question is. A few things about the numbers a, b, c and d are integers. So keep this in mind whenever we think about integers, it's not just positive integers. They could be numbers such as 3, 5, 11, 22. They could also include zero. It could also include numbers which are negative such as minus 14, minus 13. So when we talk about integers, it could be negative, positive or zero. And as we read this, just take a quick look at it. Have they said these four integers need to be four different numbers? They've not mentioned any of that thing. So essentially, all A, B, C, D can be four, 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 four. They can be different numbers too. Two of them can be same. Another two could be same. So A and B can be threes and C and D could be minus 11. So have all of these things running at the back of your mind once you have read something in the question stem. So these are integers. Could be positive, could be negative, could be zero. Are they distinct ones? They have not mentioned anything. So can they all be same? Yes. Can some of them be same? Yes, all possibilities exist. On that note, let's take a look at the five answer options. We'll look at the statements in a while. These are the five answer options which are familiar by now. I'm not going to spend time on this. Let's circle back to the question. The question is, is yes greater than zero? Is the standard deviation positive is what the question is. Now, the answer to any is question, forget whether it's a standard deviation question or anything. For any is question, the answer is going to be an yes or a no. When will we have an S for this question? When S is greater than 0. When the standard deviation is positive, it's going to be greater than 0. Normally, we'll say no will happen in two other scenarios. S is less than or equal to 0. But I'm going to not say that this is the case for this particular scenario. Standard deviations are never negative. So standard deviation is either 0 or the standard deviation is going to be positive. So the answer is no when S is equal to 0. The answer is yes when S is greater than 0. So this much clarity is there. For any is question, for which an answer is yes or no, when is the data sufficient? The data is sufficient when we have a definite yes or a definite no as the answer. If you're saying that, hey, the standard deviation is positive, with this information, I can guarantee that the data is sufficient. If you say that the standard deviation can never be greater than zero, it's actually a zero in this case, I know it for sure. In that case also, the data is sufficient. If you're saying that with this information, it could be positive, it could very well be zero, I'm not sure, which is when the data is not sufficient. Right. But I ask this key question, either this or this, we'll start with this, right? When will the standard deviation be equal to zero? You're saying the standard deviation is equal to zero. It can happen in two scenarios. The first scenario is that when all the numbers in the data set are the same. For example, if I have a 3, 3, 3, 3, the mean is going to be 3, the mode is 3, the median is 3, the range is 0, and the standard deviation is 0, right? So I've had some four numbers of this kind, or even two numbers. It could be any number of numbers. For this, the mean median and mode will all be the same three. Range is the highest minus lowest, which is going to be equal to zero. The standard deviation, basically you will essentially have the mean to be a zero. So the deviations are three minus three, three minus three, three minus three, three minus three. So deviations add up are all zeros, which means that the average of the squared deviation will be zero. Squared deviations will be zero. Average of the squared deviations will be zero. Standard deviation will be zero. So standard deviation, yes, will be equal to zero. So standard deviation will be 0 and the answer to our question will be no if all numbers are equal. The standard deviation will be a non-zero number even if one of these numbers is different. For example, if I had a 3, 3, 3 and let's say a 6 or something like this, then necessarily you'll find that the mean is going to be not 3, it's going to be some other number, right? So 15 divided by 4, the median is going to be actually a 3 mode is going to be a 3. So all of these are different numbers. There will be a standard deviation and the standard deviation is going to be a non-zero positive number. The range in this case is going to be equal to a 3. So you've got some idea about when is it positive, when the standard deviation is positive, when the standard deviation is 0. Let's take a look at the statements and then see whether we get some idea about it. Statement 1 says the mean is greater than the one of the numbers which is a. We said that the standard deviation is going to be 0 if all of these numbers are equal, if A, B, C, D are all A, 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 then the mean will be equal to A. This is the scenario in which the standard deviation will be zero. If even one of these numbers is different, 
for example, we had a, 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 all a, b, c are this, and this number is a larger number, d. This example that I wrote, 3, 3, 3, 6. Essentially, you're going to have the mean to be greater than one of these numbers. The mean is equal to these numbers, then essentially, it is a possibility that all of them are same, or let's put it the other way around. When all of the numbers are same, the mean will be equal to each of these numbers. It will be the same as the value that is given there. The mean is greater than one of the numbers, then not all of these numbers are same. If not all of these numbers are same, the standard deviation cannot be zero. Standard deviation is going to be a number which is a positive number. So because the mean is greater than the average, I can conclude that in this scenario, the standard deviation is a positive number. The answer to our question, is it greater than zero, is a conclusive yes. Statement one alone is sufficient, so our answer option is going to be A or D. Look at statement two, that is sufficient, we'll go with D. That is not sufficient, we'll go with A. Statement 2 alone, what does it say? A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 0. Very tempting, very tempting. Sum is 0. So how can it happen? One possibility, right? I'll call it as possibility 1, is all of these numbers are 0, right? Sum of four zeros will be equal to a 0. In this case, the standard deviation is a 0. The answer to our question is a no. Is this the only way we can get the sum to be a 0? No, not really. We can get the sum to be a 0, even in this scenario. Minus 4, plus 2, minus 2, plus 4, right? So this is a scenario where 2 minus 2 becomes 0, minus 4 plus 4 becomes 0. So this is also equal to 0. Now in this case, if you look at it, because the numbers are all different, we're going to have definitely a standard deviation, which is going to be greater than 0. In this scenario, is A plus B plus C plus D equal to 0? Yes. Is the standard deviation positive? The answer is yes. So for A plus B plus C plus D being 0, in possibilities 1 and 2, in one scenario, we're getting the standard deviation to be a zero. In another, we're getting it to be a positive. In one case, we're answering no. In one case, we're answering yes. We don't have a conclusive answer with statement two. Two alone is not sufficient. One is sufficient. Therefore, answer option is choice A. I'm going to leave you with a bonus question. Slightly going to tweak the statements. See if you can make sense out of it based on what we have discussed as theory in this question. This is a bonus question. Same thing, if m, s are the average and standard deviation of four integers, a, b, c, and d, is the standard deviation greater than zero? I have not changed the question stem. I have not, have I changed? Yes, I have. Statement one says, the mean is equal to a. Mean is equal to a, that's one thing to keep in mind. The second one statement, the range of the four integers, a, b, c, and d, is zero. Now, check out which of these statements is sufficient. Is statement one alone sufficient, two alone sufficient, or the co is the combination sufficient or there are they independently sufficient or is the given data insufficient to answer the question. Try this and post your answers in the comment section.